So, have you ever been eaten? Oh, no. Wait, guys, that came out wrong. A Tale Dark and Grim is a computer animated series based on the children's book of the same name, developed for Netflix. The series follows Hansel and Gretel as they go through life and limb together in search of the perfect family. Everything starts off pretty great for everyone until one night Hansel and Gretel's parents, the king and queen, chop off their heads before quickly sewing them back on with a magical thread. Terrified of what just happened, both Hansel and Gretel run from their parents before they have a chance to explain anything, and they proceed to leave their kingdom. Scared and pretty traumatized by the events, the siblings venture off on finding a new and the most perfect family they can find. With each episode having them meeting more stranger people than the last, such as a baker lady that takes the phrase, I can eat you right up, a little too seriously. I can just eat you right up! Yes, I could! Ooh, oh, I could. Just eat you up. A family that has one of the parents who can't even smile, so he has to draw one on his face. So happy to see you. <laughs> A wise, but also sassy tree. That's cute. Well, what about the creatures that eat other creatures? You know what? No one likes a smart Alec. Just for that, I'm not letting you in. A lady who seems a bit infatuated with fish. But they ain't happy. Oh, wait. I don't know. Are they happy or not? I don't know. A young man who's not what he seems. I have to cook the laundry. <laughs> Made you flinch. An old man trying to catch up with the siblings. Ah! <laughs> I've been searching for you for so long, Gretel. A snotty and rule obsessed lord. It is 358. Tea time is at four. That is a rule. The literal devil himself. <laughs> and a fire-breathing dragon. Now this being based on the Brothers Grimm fairy tales, you'd expect a bit of gruesomeness, and that is what you get. Although, from what I've learned, they toned down the creepiness a bit from the adaptation from the books. But that doesn't mean it's completely watered down to be suitable for all children. Whenever a more gruesome scene happens, it's usually done through a 2D animated segment, but that also doesn't mean it takes you out of the intensity of the moment. We also get to know Hansel and Gretel themselves. We find out Gretel is smart and sometimes optimistic and usually the one with the plan on how to proceed at the task at hand. While Hansel is the more optimistic one and very kind to whomever he meets and very much willing to help others even for nothing in return. Together they make the perfect pair to play off each other. Now I've neglected to mention the narrator of the show, or rather narrators of the show since it's presented by three ravens. They explain the situation of the siblings and tell us what will be happening next to them from beginning to end. Now, I'll be honest, the ravens are probably my least favorite part of the show. They can get pretty annoying at the beginning with some unnecessary commentary here and there, and there's some pretty flat jokes. But as time went on, I actually started to like them. Of course, by a few episodes, we got to know the status quo with them, and we actually got to know the characters themselves, and we found out their backstories and why they're the ones telling the story in the first place. The animation of the show is pretty good, and it really helps sets the tone. It gives it all the creepy vibe when needed. The animation was done by Jamfield Entertainment, a Canadian animation company that's worked on shows such as The Loud House, Final Space, and DC Superhero Girls. Even though it has no relation, while watching the show, the animation always reminded me of the show My Night and Me, a show that no one watched or cared about. Overall, the show has its great moments and it definitely has its high stakes. No one in the show is safe. It's also got its lows and even some things that kind of went unexplained, which left me confused at times. But in the end, it all made a fun fantasy adventure that I definitely recommend you give a watch.